Say hi. Hi. So today is my mom's birthday. We are, sorry, I'm gonna set you down there. We're trying to, I'm trying to park. We are at the dollar store so we can get some, yes, some balloons and a Diet Coke to take down to Angel Grandma's grave. And I can explain more of that later. Okay, so we got our balloons. Now we're gonna back out, make our way down. Actually, hold on. As I was saying, we are heading down to my hometown, the town I grew up in. That's where my mom's grave is at. It takes us about 30 minutes to get down there, so I'm really hoping someone will take a nap since she hasn't had one today. And Saturdays are always crazy for us just because we have so much going on. So she always ends up taking a late nap. she fell asleep like I was hoping she would and since she's asleep I guess I'll just uh, kind of talk a little bit as I put my hand in front of the camera just gonna set you right there so it has been 15 years since my mom passed that's crazy I was 14 she passed away from cancer she had a rare cancer thymic carcinoma first thymoma then thymic carcinoma because it um, her cells had um, what's the word? It starts with an M. Metastasized, I think. I'll have to look that up. She uh, battled cancer for about a year and a half. If my mom was still alive today, she would have turned 54. So that means my mom was 38 when she passed away, which when I was young, 14, you know, I was like, oh, 38. No, that's, that's so young. I turned 30 this year. That just blows my mind. As kids, like, our parents are always our heroes, but... She'll never stop being my hero because now that I'm older, I realize, I realize now like how strong of an example she truly was. I never saw her complain. And then when the cancer came back, it just spread all over her body. She never complained. She never, I never heard her say how unfair it was. Now that I have kids, I just, I couldn't even imagine the trial of knowing you're gonna leave your family. She knew that, that once the cancer had spread to her bones and her brain and certain organs, I think it was her liver, you know, the odds were, were not in her favor, so she knew. And she stayed strong the whole time. Oh. Oh. She is my hero even more today than she was when I wa was watching her go through it because as you grow older and mature, you, you realize how strong she had to have been Knowing that she was leaving her kids, you know, losing a parent when you're young, it really matures you. So it's really shaped who I am today also. So I wouldn't, I don't want to say I wouldn't change it because I would. I'd have my mom back in a heartbeat if I could. But I'm also just so grateful for what she taught me then and what she taught me after. There's days where, where I miss her so much and there's days where it's just, you learn how to go on. You just learn how to go on without them. Anyways, for her, a uh, tradition that we have for her, we get her a Diet Coke, because she loved Diet Coke, couldn't go a day without her Diet Coke, and a couple balloons. But now I feel bad waking her up, but we're just gonna have to do this. Okay, Pumpkin, are you gonna wake up? I guess it wasn't a good idea to let you sleep and then wake you up. You're kinda grumpy. <laughs> Okay, so Zella's being a massive pain in the butt, which I didn't think she would be. It was a bad idea to let her sleep and then wake her up, but I would have, it was a lose-lose situation for me anyways. She would have been a monster if she wouldn't have had a nap, and she'd have been a monster if she was woken up, so she's being a butt. But um, her Coke, her Diet Coke is there with her balloons. Right there. Oh no! There goes our balloon! Oh sad! We lost the balloon! Uh, <laughs> oh shoot! No, they're over there! No, there's one right there! Dang it, that's way too high for me to get! <sighs> it's okay, mom liked Diet Coke more than she liked balloons. Put you right in there, buddy. You wanna go? Okay, that's, 
Let's go. <laughs> what are you crying for? Let's go get you some chocolate. Chocolate makes me feel better. Happy birthday, Angel Grandma. Okay guys, I wanted to uh, try a little montage film. I wanted to do it after the cemetery yesterday, but Zella was so ornery because I woke her up from her nap and then um, we lost the balloon. So it did not happen at the cemetery. So I hope you liked what we did tonight as a little family. It was good because Leo was here. He uh, didn't get to go with us to the grave because he was working. Um, but yeah, thanks always for your support. We love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and we'll see you for our next one. Bye.